Hi guys, it's Mike here. Uh, today I thought I would use the die cut that I um, um, die cut crooked yesterday. Uh, you might have seen that video. And I thought I would try and save it. <laughs> Instead, this card has given me, uh, this is the one from yesterday. The card that I made this morning, the one that you're watching the video for, <laughs> I think, really was testing my... Um, Patience. <coughs> um, I wanted to shake a card, so I used the dye again on some colored foam. But of course, I don't want the trees, as I want as much space as possible to shake. And I thought, you know, the um, I wanted the same opening size, so I used that dye. I didn't. My my circle dies were a little bit bigger, a little bit too small. So I thought that was clever. <coughs> But of course, yeah, it got a little bit warped in um, die cutting. And um, you see, it's it's not exactly the same size anyway. So I used a circle die that's a little bit bigger than the uh, birch tree dies from Memory Box, just to give me a little bit of a border. And um, I did look at my. Um, stitch ones but they were either the same size as the opening it's not working or very uh, much bigger so it would be too bulky and uh, I decked these by the way at the same time so I thought the foam might not warp as much see there's the stitched one that would give me a really big board I didn't like it <coughs> sorry and um, yeah there it is it kind of fits, but <laughs> not really. <laughs> then I was like, oh, okay. And um, I uh, have acetate. I'm also die cutting it from the same circle die, just to have the same size. And I'm using a Ranger multi -mode medium with a brush to liberally apply it to the back of the die cut so I can um, glue on the acetate. And I'm doing it on a scratch paper, just, you know, if I go over the edges, it doesn't really matter, but I want it covered very well, so it sticks properly. And I think my uh, glue might be old, because it wasn't sticking at all, you'll see that later. But <laughs> that was oh, another frustration. And also, if you get glue on the acetate, it will make your acetate go matte as well, so be careful. Uh, if you do paper on paper, it's not a big deal. So yeah, here I'm applying it on the acetate, just so I can put the craft foam on for my shaker pocket. See, it all looks like it's going really well. <laughs> I didn't cut out anything, by the way, just so you know. I, I did speed it up twice the speed. But, um, yeah, you see, it, it, uh, it didn't fit really well. I thought I'll cut it off later. When it's dry, I'll just set it aside now for the glue to dry. Yeah, I've got glue on my fingers, of course. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't my crafting day today, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> I was trying to save that die cut instead, I gave myself a headache. So um, I also die cut another piece uh, of paper from with the same size from uh, my um, copy paper that is uh, 120 pounds. And I'm using faded jeans, salty ocean and tumbled glass, much like yesterday. <coughs> and I'm doing it here on um, well the lid, let's say, of the shaker card, because that's easier to place um, than trying to, you know, ink within a circular area on your card base, like I did yesterday. I prefer my shaker cards to be the same level and not on top of my card but yeah because I was saving this um, 
crooked die cut <laughs> I thought I'll give it a try yeah. <sighs> I know I, I was really like should I post this video or not um because there's so much that went wrong with this car that uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's sitting here on my desk looking at me like na 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 <laughs> I'm not sure if I will send it out. It's not in the bin yet, so th that's uh, a good thing, I guess. <coughs> so yeah, still looks good. And I thought, yeah, I will just cut off the um, foam that peaked, and then I noticed it wasn't sticking. So I thought I'll put some more glue on. I don't know, it's not sticking there as well. Ugh. I'll just use foam tape. You know, I could have saved this card easier if I had made a die cut in a, a card panel and then just glued this one on top of the opening and put the shaker bits all underneath the big card panel instead of trying to squeeze them in here and then just thinking about it while I'm looking at the video doing the voiceover so yeah <laughs> I am not making another one no so uh, sharpie white for some snow yesterday I did the one with the uh, stencil but I thought you know you can also just use this if you have it or gel pen So um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I went off to uh, grab my uh, release paper and my foam tape. Um, this one uh, was left over from a project and I had it stuck on wax paper because, you know, they say it's a good release paper. Instead, look, it doesn't come off. And it was still sticky, so at first I put it on and then I... Um, <laughs> pulled it off again because I, I was afraid if it wasn't sticky really like it, it should be that you know the shaker pocket will come undone and you would lose all the uh, inside <coughs> if you take uh, both release papers so top and bottom off you can really bend your foam tape so you know that's good if you want to go around And see, it's ah, oh, it's cap. So yeah, release paper, foam tape. <laughs> that was empty. Anyway, I, I, I did put it, and I, you know, I used to hide it, so I cut that off by mistake. But you know, I made a ring of uh, two layers of foam, and uh, I had these uh, die cuts left over from a card that you might remember, and, and uh, I thought I would use them, and I like my shaker card full because you know I, I don't want to be stingy but um these um snowflakes they well they just got tangled a lot and they didn't want to shake in the end <laughs> but yeah for some color i'm adding um some color yeah blue see-through uh, clear sequins and some small ones dark blue and silver for some sparkle And then yeah, I put the um, backing on, and you have a nice little pocket. Or uh, you can make this into a tag really well, I think. But you see, the um, the snowflakes they were just clinging onto each other for some reason. I think that the um, really sharp edges that were on it they were grabbing each other. So yeah. And I'm not sure all this peeling off <laughs> really is good for the glue and tape, but yeah. <coughs> See, it's still stuck. I, I took out one more. There's only one snowflake left in it now. And now I'll just tidy up the edges. And I think it looks okay, but you know, I am much more critical of my own work than anyone else, I think. And yeah. <laughs> There's the uh, Merry Christmas I got yesterday. 
it's too big so I'm reverting back to my Euro Art classic Christmas border but I'm using the piece on earth now and I'm using the memento nautical blue with it just to match the uh, uh, shaker bits or the, the, the background and um, yeah that's pretty much the card finish just some tape runner and I have to um, also just mention <laughs> that even taking the stills and the close-ups <sighs> well yes as I said this card was doomed to fail and um, I almost didn't post it but I thought you know it's a learning curve and um, I think I did a good job saving it and yes let's try to uh, tear it straight on to the back <laughs> so um, yeah I still prefer the one from yesterday and that could have been a shaker card as well so I might do another one just um, <coughs> because now I'm a bit frustrated but yeah thank you for watching I hope you find it useful and um, excuse my rant so see you again soon bye bye